Hello everyone, this is Bradley. So today this is an add-on release. Before I actually talk about the add-on, I would like to make some complaints. If you have followed this channel long enough, you will realize that in almost all my tutorials, I'm using the presets I built for my own, which you can download that for free from the link in the description. And I received about four to five complaints about these presets not working. And uh, after investigation, all the reasons end up being they're using the wrong version of Blender, while it has been clearly stated in the Gumroad page that 1.1.1 is for Blender 3.1. So since I finished my complaints, let's start to discuss about the add-on I released today. Uh, basically, it was about uh, January. People asked, the, is that possible not going to the Gumroad page to download the newest preset every time because I updated that uh, pretty frequently for bug fix or development and it's kind of very troublesome to go into Gumroad page for downloading, replace the file and so on and so forth, okay? And uh, also this is a... it's not the only person who asked about this because there are also other people who mentioned the development of a set browser just so you know that it's a trend for developers to think that they, instead of coding all these kind of new nodes, they would like to make node groups, which is shipped by Blend itself. So in the future, it's not only using other people's preset, but you are going to use these official node groups provided by Blender developers as well. So about this issue I've discussed with developers, is that possible for community to contribute to all these kind of node groups and so on? Just to know that the, this entire whole thing is still under kind of a discussion. So it's not easy to say, oh, tomorrow you can do this or in the next release, you should be able to do that and so on. However, we do not really have a time to wait within these windows. So we end up uh, making this add-on for easy update of presets. So here we're in Blender, and this is an installation guide of our add-on. So the first thing that you need to do is you go to the Gumroad page from the link in the description, and you download the add-on, which presents as a zip file. You do not need to open that zip file. Instead, within Blender, you go to Edit, Preference, and there will be an add-on page, and there is a Install button, and you hit this the install button, then you will find the link to whatever places and you just search for the file that you just download and let's install this add-on. Then it will show up this node, Bradley's GeoNode presets and let's enable that. You will find all these kind of different preference settings. Uh, it's just a different links that you can go to my YouTube channel, you can go to my Discord for question or discussion or contribution and you can go to GitHub link. Uh, which stores all this kind of Blender file and uh, potentially menus and so on, okay? There's also settings which can open the folder for your presets file. Uh, we will discuss this in details, but uh, this debugging and experimental, you do not need to worry too much about that. There is also a force update button. You do not need to hit that most of the time because these presets will also update the presets. So there are only minimal or extreme case that you really need to hit this button, okay? So after you enable this add-on, let's just quit this entire preference. So now if you go to geometry nodes and you add geometry nodes, you will find that there is actually no presets within this drop-down list because the presets will only be really working after you quit this file. So you don't need to save anything, you just quit, okay? So let's just don't save. So last time after I quit, I didn't do anything. I just reopened this Blender file, okay? The same Blender file. However, if you open this geometry nodes, okay? And you add a node tree, within this drop down list, you will find that there are many other node groups present. And within this here, you can see there is a chain icon, which is the same as the one that you go to file and the link. So it's not appending, but it's linking the Blender file. Okay. Basically what this add-on does is that it downloads the Blender file from GitHub page and it link these files so that you can use them. The benefit of this kind of linkage is that this 
group notes are not being readily included with your current file. So if you go to Blender file, then you can just scroll down, you can see there is a node group and there is only one geometry node. It does not include all these kind of drop-down node groups unless you try to local them, localize them or other things, okay? And uh, however, you can just use these node groups as you all, as if they are just in your local file, okay? Another benefit of a link, node linking with this kind of a chain box is that in case I am updating or bug fix all these kind of um, node groups, then this will, these changes will be updated to your old file that use all this kind of node group as well, okay? With the help of this add-on, you do not need to go to GitHub or Gumroad every time because it will just auto-detect the updates and auto-download and update all these kind of node groups with node links and so on, okay? Just to know that the triggering of all this kind of update depends on opening or closing all this kind of uh, Blender file, okay? Also to know that as long as your fellows, your clients, or your friends uh, having this, the same add-on being activated, then you can share all this kind of node tree which uses all this kind of node group without it, any problem, okay? Uh, we've also considered many other different scenarios. Basically, we try to cover as many different possibilities as possible so that you won't have any problem working with this add-on or these presets, okay? If you still find any kind of bugs or problems or you have some suggestions, please contact us on the social link that we provided on this uh, preference. So again, within this edit preference add-on page, you just search my add-on and there are social links that you can find us on YouTube, Discord, and GitHub. Uh, it will be best if we discuss everything on Discord, but other options are also possible, okay? so. Uh, recently, I'm also considering making menus for each of these kind of node groups. However, I am very busy and I do not have time. If you're willing to contribute some of efforts about this, then please contact us on the social links mentioned earlier as well. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this uh, add-on and the preset library. So I hope you see you next time. Bye-bye.